As always, welcome back to the channel, Big Burns Moto Life. Hustle and muscle every day. Man, it has been a cold winter, man, but we are not gonna let the winter get us down. Fellas, if you've got a bike, you're gonna get in that garage and make it do what it do. We're gonna turn some heads for the summer. I've got some great mods, man. You guys stick with me. We're gonna put them together. I'm gonna show you how to sauce this bike up. I'm excited, let's get money. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Magnificent. Let's jump in the garage. Guys, you guys always know I'm going to let you check out the 2015 Road Glide looking so crisp and so clean. Oh my goodness. We've got some mods today that we're going to do. I'm excited about it today. These are going to be great things that anybody can do. So guys, before we get started, let's hit a quick cold start real quick. There we go, sounding good. So let's check out the bike really quick, guys. You see I've got the Reinhardt pipes on there. The tip's looking good. Also, I've got those saddlebag lights on there. Guys, you really need those. They will help be seen at night and they will stop you from getting rear-ended from drivers who are not paying attention. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the bike real quick. Let's give it some love right quick. Let's get a little bit of rumble in the jungle before we get this video started. So fellas, let's get a little bit of that rumble in the jungle. Yes sir, sounding really, really good. We are off to a great start today. So let's check out and get this video rolling, baby. All right, fellas, and right on time is the UPS man. He is coming with a special delivery for me real quick. Fellas, this is gonna be the finish project that we're going to put together today you guys see the ups man right there we are about to grab this and get this install started you are right on time my youtube channel will love you thank you sir appreciate that have a good day okay i swear to god fellas i am so excited when i get packages in the mail i don't know about you out there it might be cold outside fellas but it is hot right now we are about to get money let me unwrap and show you what you got yes sir just like that man we are back i have got everything all out and ready to go let's get a brief overview of what we've got right here i've got a lot to throw at you guys first off let's start with this torque motorcycle company fellas you know the channel i am loving the torque motorcycle company you guys see that army green encased in the black right there no rules ride free that is how we roll on the channel torque motorcycle company i love your stuff i would love to collab with you hope you guys are out there listening show your boys some love next up fellas let's check out the Ciro 3d bolt cap covers for your engine all around. Man, we are gonna really check these out. This is a great way to dress up that motor and make it look amazing and turn those heads, man. So we're gonna get into that. Then fellas, you see I have got the Derby cover right here with the Willie G. Man, let me pull it up so you guys can see it. And that sun hits it. You see it is that matte black. It is gonna look amazing on that primary right there. So we're gonna get into that. And then fellas, to top it off, I've got the lower and upper fork covers right here that we ordered. Man, we're gonna give these a shot and see what they look like. That is the lower, and this is gonna go for the upper on the 10 right on the side. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. We're gonna give it a shot and see if it's gonna work. You see, I've got the black bolts, as well as for the Willie G, I've got the black bolt cover, so everything's gonna be all blacked out. Man, I am so excited. Let's don't wait anymore, man. Let's get done, let's get it going, let's go. Yes, sir. So let's get this installation started, man. I am excited. Guys, we are going to start with those lower fork covers right there and also the upper 10 right here. Let me show you how they work really quick. This is the lower right here and check it out. It's just going to cover that lower right there. There is a cushion inside that is going to go up against that bolt at the bottom of the wheel, which is gonna make everything snug. And then we're gonna run the two all black screws in there. Should be a relatively easy install. Then let me show you, I am going to use the upper slider covers right here. And all we're gonna do, as you guys see right there, we're gonna go double-sided tape. And that is gonna look amazing. And it is gonna match up directly with the lower fork cover. So without further delay, let's get into this install. Crown, that's a jam. That's a jam. Let's 
Plus now you see I've got those bolts off right there and you can see that is right to the fender. You see the fender moving right there. So all I'm gonna do is take these two bolts I'm gonna stick that in and on the other side, I'm gonna put that washer in there and then we're gonna run those up with the bolt in the back. All right, it's gonna be a relatively easy installation. So let's continue to get after it. The installation is going great. Let me show you what I'm doing. Come on down real quick. You see, I am putting this on. That is that fork cover right there. You see, I'm just running the bolt back up through the fender. And I'm just gonna use a small pair of vice grips. I'm gonna hold that back bolt. Remember, I've got that washer, that lock washer on, and I'm just gonna take my ratchet and I'm gonna run that back up. And you guys see how that's running in and it's gonna fit. It is connecting the fender back. Everything's all nice and snug. I'm gonna hit the other side. Don't forget to put those lock washers on there. All right, we'll be right back. Let me finish this up. I am loving the way the installation is going. You guys know I love being in the garage. I got a great tip for you. Whenever you are using double-sided tape, make sure you use rubbing alcohol to clean that surface so that that tape can adhere to that surface and be permanent for you, or at least till you're ready to move it, it will not move. All right, so let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of this rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna place that double-sided tape right here for that tin cover. I'm gonna clean that off that whole area, and I'm gonna let that cool off dry and let it get set up, and then I'm gonna get this thing started. Okay. Okay. Check it out, I'm excited, man. I want you guys to check it out. Let me know what you think. Cameraman, can you zoom on that real quick? Guys, check that out. Now, you can see how a great balance of chrome and vivid black is together, and you can see how it goes into the 21-inch Prodigy wheel with the rotors, how everything plays off of each other. Guys, let me know what you think. This is a great way to dress up the bike in an inexpensive way also, but it looks really, really good. I'm interested to know what you guys think in the comments below, but let me know what you think. Check it out one more time. Guys, as you can see, that looks crazy right now. That shine is right in there, gives the bike a mean look. Let me know what you think. All right, we're gonna continue the day going. I've got more projects coming your way. Let's get money. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. All right, it is time to continue on. I am gonna install this Willie G Derby cover. I'm gonna get the bike up on the jack, then I'm gonna show you how it's gotta install this real quick. Let's get after it. Magnificent. I got so many toys in the garage. I hope you guys are enjoying the feed right now. Man, I'm about to get this derby cover, this Willie G derby cover looking so shiny and so crisp right now. I'm about to stick that on. Fellas, as you see, I've already got the bike up on a jack. If you're gonna change a derby cover, make sure you put that bike up on a jack because the bike needs to be level because if not, it is going to leak oil in the primary and it's gonna get all over the place. Now also, you see I put a cardboard piece down, but you can put anything down to collect uh, a little bit of drainage of oil. It might be just a little bit. So let's jump into it real quick. I've got this T27 star wrench that I am gonna take these covers off with. All right, so let's get after it. Magnificent. See right here, cameraman, right there. Guys, I've got that off. There's not any leakage in there and the gasket is looking really good. So I can just go ahead and replace that. Guys, if you've got an older model bike, make sure you check that gasket in there, the gasket, and make sure it's a good one. Otherwise you will start to leak. All right, this is important. This is a newer bike. That gasket is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach those and get this thing moving, all right? It's fake kills. Man, I am.
am so excited. I think that Willie G turned it out on the primary cover. Hey, I just got a quick, quick, quick tip for you. Make sure you put those washers in, fellas. That is a crucial part of putting this primary cover, the derby cover back in there in the primary. Make sure that you have every washer in there and it is lined up correctly. You cannot go wrong. This is a super insta easy installation, but check it out, man. Looks so good. I think it really plays again like we did off the front end with those sliders. I think that this really plays off the chrome. The primary is all chrome with that touch of black with the Willie G. I'm really liking the way it looks. Man, I'm telling you, it is time to get in that garage Fix those bikes up so that when we hit the streets in the summertime, all the oohs and the ahs and the eyes are going to be turning to us, man. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But I tell you what, I've got even more to come. So stand by. Yes, sir, I wanna give a huge shout out to Ciro 3D. Guys, these guys are amazing, man. I am gonna put these custom, and I went with the chrome black bolt covers for my engine. It is gonna really turn it up. If you are looking for a way to customize your bike on a budget, guys, fix that engine up, those bolts, those ugly rusted bolts, use the Ciro 3Ds to cover them up. Man, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and how easy it is. back in a flash fellas let's check out all the mods that we did in the garage today to the 2015 road glide let's just jump right in real quick guys you know i hit them with those front fork slider covers in that vivid black man i am really loving the way that it cleaned everything up and hit that bolt but i want you guys to check out something real quick now when you look at this you can tell that that fork slider cover is really pushing that custom rotor and that 21 inch chrome wheel out. It is really making your eye visually look at that. I really like the way that that accented off of that really pulls your eye and gives a visual aspect to the bike. Now let's go up here and you guys are gonna check out that accent piece that I put on the 10 cover right there. And it, guys, it really has a great play. You can see that it goes directly down and goes uniform right into the fork slider cover. So it gives it a nice clean look. Let's look at one more thing. Now you guys see that shark nose fin, I'm gonna pull back. Now you can see that that fork slider cover right there really plays off the shark nose as you can see right there so really feeling like this was a great modification to put in all right fellas so i really want to show you another mod that i did that you really get the bang for the buck on now guys check out the engine and you can see all the bolts that we hit that zero 3d bolt covers with and you can see that in the black chrome and let me jump over here and you can really see i'm gonna really try to get up in there and you guys can see the push rods they're all in there it looks really nice and clean and i'm gonna pull back and let you see it that is bang for the buck the best way to make that engine look really really good and clean it up let me know what you think in the comments below the shout out to zero 3d they are on point loving those boat covers where are all my motorcycle enthusiasts at? Guys, I really hope you are enjoying the channel. Man, I appreciate all the support out there. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are one of my wonderful subscribers out there, don't forget to drop me a like, man. Let me get a comment from you. You know I love hearing from you and I love responding back to you. Let's finish this off. But fellas, I just wanna say that if you are customizing your bike, really take the time and put the thought process into it and you do not have to spend a lot of money to make that bike look amazing as you can see right here these are great inexpensive ways like those zero 3d bolt covers they really brought that engine out there are things that you can do to your bike to make it look absolutely amazing so without further delay guys i'm gonna holler at you guys later i really appreciate you stopping by the channel until next time keep those two wheels down Ooh.